Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you how to set and retrieve data values. So I've got some data value right here, data-name, data-age, just so you know what a data value is compared to a regular attribute. Regular attribute, so like this for example, is stored on the element itself. Whereas this, for example, the data dash just indicates to the browser this is some sort of you know data value and it will store this value in its internal storage at you know some sort of location that you can refer to as age based on this element. So any changes we actually make to it when we make to them to it won't reflect in the inspector, but using jQuery we can confirm they have been changed. First of all, we've got this little button that's been clicked. Create var for name equals. You just do a selector, so div for example. Dot data. Now you specify what you are trying to get hold of for name. I'll do the same for age as well. Age, and I'm going to do console dot log name. H. Okay, so if I reload and I go to click me, it gets those values. If you want to change a value, so like the name, for example, yeah, where's the dollar? Go? There it is. So to change it, the only difference you have to make is this returns a value. If I specify a second parameter, this assigns this value to this data storage element. And I'm gonna put I don't know, Batman. And if I reload, go to element, as you can see, it says for home. If I say click me, it doesn't change. Because like I said, the data attribute, this is just there so the browser can initially use these values to store it internally. But we confirm we can confirm that the values have changed or the value has changed just for name. We have a modified age by pasting this here, reloading the page, going to click me, and ah, reason this hasn't been updated because we haven't updated this value here. We will need to update this value as well first. So this will retrieve the value again. And if I say click me for a hand. 26, 26 and change, but the name has, even though on the inspect side it doesn't change because this is just the initial values, but these are internally stored values by your browser. So that's how you set and retrieve data values from an element. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.